Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video to Studio and today I'm going to show with you how to do a grid in DaVinci Resolve. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now we are on the edit page and I'm going to bring a new fusion composition here in my timeline and we're going to move over to fusion. Now the first thing I'm going to do is here I'm going to bring a background node in my working area and link the output of that background to the media out. I'm then going to change the color from black to white. And here I'm going to bring a second background node in my working area and then link that output to the first background. I'm then going to select the background and hit the rectangle mask to just add the mask on it. I'm going to bring the center X of that mask down to zero. And here we can then adjust the height to get the thickness of the line that we want. So here I'm going to go with 0 0.005. And I'm then going to extend the width to the maximum here, one. But if you want to extend it longer and that you're stuck here with the slider, you can just change the number here, for example, for two, and it will just extend that limit. But right now, I'm just going to go with one. I'm then going to select my background and hit shift space on my keyboard and search for a transform node. I'm going to change the pivot here down to zero. And I'm going to adjust the position here of my line. Now I'm just going to make some space by moving some of those nodes and I'm going to select my transform, hit shift space on the keyboard and search for duplicate. So we're going to copy that line multiple times. Here I'm going to make 10 copy, but make as many copy as you need, depending on the size of your grid. And now we're just going to adjust the position, which is going to basically dictate the space between each of those lines. So same here, adjust it accordingly to whatever you need. Here I'm just going to go with 0 0.055. Now we have our horizontal line. We're going to need to make the vertical one. To do this, we're just going to select all the nodes that we've created, copy them, and then we're just going to paste them right here. I'm then going to link the output of the duplicate to that merge tool. And here in transform, we're going to switch the angle from zero to 90 degree. Then we're going to go over to the duplicate. We're just going to double click here on the center to reset it. And this time, instead of adjusting the Y, we're going to adjust the X and we're going to do the same value as on the last duplicate. So here 0 0.55. And here to complete the grid, instead of having 10 copy, I'm just going to do 11 copy. Now let's get rid of that excess at the top. So we're going to go back to the rectangle and here we're going to adjust the width. So we're just going to reduce it and here just close our grid. Now, if you want to have a bigger grid, you can easily make some modification to each rectangle with the width, both vertically and horizontally and adjusting the number of copy. Now let's just do a simple animation. We're going to go to the first rectangle here. I'm going to go at frame 20, drop a keyframe on the width, then go down to frame zero and reduce the width down to zero. Then select my second rectangle here, go to frame 20 again, drop a keyframe on the width again, go to frame zero and then bring the width down to zero. Now I'm going to open my spline editor, bring both rectangle, select zoom to fit, select all my keyframe point, hit the letter S on my keyboard, then hit the letter T to bring the easing and ease out and change the easing to 85. Now if we play it, We've got a simple grid animation and this is the basic to do a grid in Fusion if you want to make infographic title like chart and stuff like this. Let me know in the comment if you would like to see a full fledged uh, graph tutorial where I'll also add some text both vertical and horizontal and then we'll see or we can add some point to make a graph. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free startup pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.